I'm Steven, I sing and play guitar in fan club. Uh, I'm Kevin, I play bass and sing. I'm Dara, I'm the drummer, we're a fan club, and this is IndieBuddy.com. I loved it, I thought it was great. I mean, we went completely insane in the studio. The recording, yeah. Uh, I know I did, <laughs> and, uh, but it was amazing. You went full shining, like. Full shining. <laughs> I was in the other room, like, with an axe and stuff. <laughs> um, no, it was great, it was amazing. It's the best thing I've ever done so far, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I really like Psycho yeah. I think, uh, because it's so fun to play and it's one of the songs that always seems to get a, a great reaction um, so yeah that would be like my favourite Raw Models is kind of a special one I think because it was the first song you, you saw kids singing back at you and that was like a big kind of milestone moment where it was like oh my god this is insane so I think that Raw Models is probably mine oh, I, I love Dreamcatcher from the, the new EP <clears throat> mm. that's probably my favourite song like, yeah, too. we got that a lot. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we were playing Americans. <laughs> we were playing, yeah. We were playing uh, like Wheelands and stuff, and people would be like, "Oh, where, in, where, where are you from in the states?" Like, not even in the UK. <laughs> people were just like yeah. convinced we were. We're from down there. I would like. <laughs> cover art is for Dreamcatch. For oh. Dreamcatcher, the cover art is a picture of uh, my younger brother dressed up as the Lone Ranger for Halloween. So I just thought it looked it was really iconic or something. It's mm. really cool. And the first EP is another picture of him dressed up as the as the a kind theme of, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as the kind of Lone Ranger devil kind of thing. But it, it all came from uh, photography, and then a friend sketched it and stuff. So the videos were that was a by collaboration <laughs> with yeah. the Finn director Finn Keenan. Yeah. So we we'd kind of like give him a storyboard or kind of a, a vibe kind of for like comparison videos or colours and stuff like that and he'd go off and concoct it up in a pot and come back and be like how about this and we'd be like oh maybe this bit of this but actually for Loner more than anything we almost didn't really know kind of what it was going to turn out like yeah. and uh, yeah we were very very happy with it but yeah it's kind of between ourselves and Finn the director mm. yeah so it was the best especially when they brought in the dog yeah, yeah it's, like, it's a cool dog, yeah. Didn't even know the dog was going to be there. Like, five <laughs> minutes before, and we kind of just... Like, I didn't know dog anything was going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> we we just had had to, they would tell us to stand there and then, like, do this and, like, punch <laughs> a loaf of bread. and. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, the original plan as well was just feeding the dog treats, and then all of, off the cuff, Finn was like, you guys need to be tossed treats then as well. Yeah. So we were, like, there behind the dog trying to catch treats people yeah. or something like, Yeah, you'd see or come up with an idea on the spot, and all of a sudden, we're, like, two minutes later, we're doing it. So it was kind of a very, kind of like, once we have these shots that we get, after that we can mess around and mm -hmm. destroy things and light things, things on fire. On fire and stuff yeah. Like that. So, yeah, it was, it's it was nasty, a cheap day. A lot of fun. <coughs> it's very strange. Especially Bullethead got a good bit of radio play and it's just this really loud yeah. punk kind of song. But I think, it just people yeah. loved it. Though, yeah, a lot of bands, it seems kind of like my when they write songs kind of be thinking oh will this get on radio and stuff which I don't think is a healthy thing to do and it was never really something that crossed our mind we were like if they if someone wants to play it it's great and stuff but the reaction we got was more than anything we could have the imagined. weirdest moment I think for us was <coughs> we were, we'd just come back from we literally like drove the tour van off the ferry oh yeah, yeah. coming back from the tour and uh -huh. the radio, we turn on the radio, and the first thing that comes on is our song, like, you know, on the TX, 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 TX FM. FM. On that, was ins that was insane, like, yeah. Yeah. That was really weird. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a nice welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I think we kind of turn ourselves up to 11, kind of long. Yeah. It's <clears throat> I think we were always, like, uh, that's where, that's where you had the most fun, playing yeah. live. and because we'd go kind of crazy live. I think it, it's more raw. Yeah, yeah. It's like we we've kind of always kind of gone hard with our live shows, but now that people are kind of like reckon like they know the songs mm -hmm. a bit, it kind of just adds to it even more because we're like feeding off the crowd's mm -hmm. excitement then and stuff like that. Um. So yeah, the, the for me the live gigs are just getting better and better all the time. Yeah. There's a couple of the bands. There's not as <coughs> much as there. The last tour we did, um, there was barely any phones I kind yeah. of noticed in the audience because yeah. usually there is like this, like just flash kind of thing in front of you but the UK the last one we did was barely any and, it's, um, and it is nice. and it's like we know as well like you know you go to a gig you want to take a cool photograph of the gig <coughs> that's that's fine that's cool but um yeah it used to be way back it used to be just you would only see phones like for the entire show 
and now it's kind of people are kind of more into the show and they're jumping around and obviously mm. they they don't want to smash their phone or something but uh it might have been the bands we were playing with in the last resort they're a bit more heavy than what we yeah. would have played with usually so yeah that's like you said people don't want to just get their phone smashed out of their hands and the thing they're is like, when you're on stage looking at the crowd and there's 500 phones that's when it gets a little bit scary and you're kind of like oh yeah. <laughs> everybody's everybody's recording me. Yeah. Incredible, yeah. Um, the pretty vicious tour was like they're a proper rock and band, mm -hmm. so um, it was really kind of cool for us to be on tour with like a band that we're quite similar to, like in style. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just such a nice tour tour to do as well. It was great. Every night was sold out for those guys, so it was, it was an yeah. amazing crowd to play for. And playing similar enough music, it yeah. playing for those fans as well. Like I was mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah. they were into it really into it like and then the twin atlantic tour with pull apart by horses was like the dream tour for us because we we're like big bands of those bands mm. and the venues are great the venues are cool, well. like yeah. they're bigger than anything we kind of played before um and being the opening band we we're on like half an hour after the doors open so going over mm. we we're like mm, we might get the first few people or something but the Jam. place was like pretty much like full for when we went on so it was insane to have that like yeah like those guys night. like twin atlantic have amazing fans that like they're hardcore like, queuing up outside yeah. <coughs> so it was just such a pleasure to do a tour with those guys and mm. the crew the bands and the crew themselves they just, were just so cool as well because they kind of knew like we're kind of compared to them we're new to all this mm. yeah so they're kind of just like being as nice as they took care of us really well. stuff. Yeah, yeah yeah no they were great. really cool so did can't you? wait for it to, to, them to play here in our own hometown, you know, and just Glasgow with them then as well. It's going to be great. You're always learning on tour. It's like... Get more lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their light show is insane. So that's what we're aspiring to. Well, that's what I'm aspiring to. Yeah. Um, even like little bits, like, because we went over with a small crew, I maybe work double duty of doing like the merch stand and stuff as well, and stuff like how things are displayed on that stuff like that i'm kind of learning all the time like as well so it's little like, bits like little details i suppose how they put on a show as well like how he could like really work the crowd and yeah that was really and pull really apart great. just there as soon as we saw that show for the first time we're like damn that's a rock and roll show they go insane yeah in taking ride. notes <laughs> yeah um well before we kind of had nothing we really had nothing at all like we were like sleeping in the van on tour this is before labels or anything so we would do a tour and sleep in the van and stuff so the little money we do get there for gigs is like huge for us like you know and it means you can get a hotel or yeah yeah but as far as like financial side that's we leave that up to other people yeah. to take care of and we kind of just go and do the do the show record the music and stuff yeah like when we're on tour if we get a small meal like a breakfast lunch and dinner happy like and just we can play the gig yeah i mean you have to, to sleep you have to be aware of the business side <coughs> mm. but you really don't need to get too deep into it it's it drug insane yeah we've got a good so. team around us as well like our our manager jim is just the best and kind of everyone we've kind of worked with um since we got him on board has been like people he's worked with before it's kind of people yeah. we, we know we can trust and stuff and <coughs> like even the same guy was doubling as our driver and stuff and uh for the last tour we just get on well with with everyone so much like it's kind of like a just cool little kind of traveling yeah. circus like yeah. it's just easy like with yeah, the right yeah. people like it's <coughs> never seems hard yeah a chore or anything yeah that's fine club and uh, yeah the fibbers. Fibbers. fibbers supporting stevens is dead yeah, yeah. stevens is dead yeah. he supported a band called wounds from dublin like they're amazing amazing band insane band but that's that kind of kick-started this band that thing yeah, yeah. that was great downstairs and fibbers <laughs> <laughs> on christmas yeah christmas king tuts in glasgow that was mm. great king tuts in glasgow was amazing yeah i think just in terms of size the o2 kentish forum that we did on the last tour for me so yeah, i remember being on the stage for soundcheck <clears throat> and like you could see like this massive board full of all like three bands merch and you can see your merch there and just the sheer size of the venue like that was like a hair standing up the back of your neck kind of moment for me and the architecture inside as well it's, yeah, it's like really it's nice two and a half thousand people i think or something and it's that's so much more than anything we had played like the night before in birmingham 
was the biggest that we had played until London, yeah. like, so it was just such a big step. I couldn't look up on stage, I was, it was like, because of the balcony of people, I was just like, too afraid to look up. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was more like Whelan's though, because like, like, Whelan's is like our second yeah. home here, and they've always been really good to us as well. Yeah. We've had our first kind of big kind of gigs in Whelan's, mm -hmm. so I'd definitely say Whelan's too. Uh, like, I have like, the music done first, and uh, maybe the chorus lyrics or something, or some kind of hook. And then I just bring it to the rehearsal room and we kind of, it's very quick. Mm. We just jam it out and everybody puts their parts to it and it just, it just comes together very, very quickly. It's kind of more, we don't put too much thought into it because you don't want to make it too flat or anything. Yeah. Keep yeah, it was very, just very raw. To the songs, I'm like, I don't even really remember the, the writing, writing process because yeah. it kind of just happens like, and you kind of, just take you know have confidence in kind of like watch it in because we'll like take the same part and play it like for 15 minutes and do something slightly different every time and then one of us would be like okay keep that bit and then just keep doing it mm. it's like a snowball effect um and it's worked so far so i think we're gonna stick with that process for the yeah. time being <laughs> it's working there was that what girl are we allowed to in talk leads <laughs> there, there was a girl who came up after the gig I think it was yeah in Leeds and she was like shaking and like kind of like yeah really really nervous and uh, I think one of us had actually seen her like sing every single I was the pull apart boys guys oh they said yeah. to us we were up in the balcony and we saw this girl mouthing like every single one of your lyrics yeah and she came up to us like after the show and she was like nearly crying and shaking wow. just to meet us and we're like that was yeah that was I was like are you sure moment. this is the right band you're meant to be like this. <laughs> The other two bands are in the corner. That's really sweet when that happens, that's nice. But, uh, yeah, no, and just, like, having people sing back the songs to you, like, you that's know, pretty serious. People just ask you for a photo as well. It's just yeah. really humbling. Or sign, sign in the, the CD or vinyl or whatever. It's, all, it's just kind of, yeah, it's just crazy for us, you know. It's kind of so new and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, apart from that, I don't really, yeah. Yeah, I mean, anybody, like, because I would write the song like in my apartment so like on an acoustic guitar and then all of a sudden there's somebody in the crowd singing it like you know you're just like what mm. that's so weird it's so strange who are you <laughs> yeah yeah i guess like i don't know just like make it about the music make make sure it's just all about the music don't worry about anything else about getting don't worry about getting on the radio or making a cool video or anything like that just really really right. focus on right, yeah. right and cool music <coughs> and like music that you love you know and don't worry about anything else it, and then like just kind of i guess just don't turn into something else. have something to <laughs> yeah. say like i think you got you need to have something to say and just gig as and much just as, when you've got the songs and you're happy with the songs just gig as much as possible uh don't try to rush anything either it's like some things that just can't be rushed you can rush it but it's not going to be as good as if you know if you just kind of let it happen and stuff like that but yeah, yeah there's, as you there's said, no one way to to do yeah. this in the music industry so many different ways you can do it so just make sure the music's good mm. and it'll work like, so yeah um the ep coming out EP on the 11th next month yeah 11th of november we have a video to shoot this month as well for dream capture yeah um, we'll do a cool video for that and then, yeah, it's just the Twin Atlantic shows then at the end of the year. Yeah. Dublin, Belfast, and then the three in the Barrowlands then as well. That's, yeah. that's the rest of the year done, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next year, setting up for next year, because next year is going to be crazy. <laughs> it's gonna yeah, be next year. just tour as much as possible then next year. Yeah. It's definitely more than anything. Yeah. I think you love the studio. I mean, I love the studio. I love making up the stuff and, like, you know. And building like, it and layering it. Yeah, yeah, doing that and... But like I, when I'm in the studio, I love like I'm just kind of like oh, I can't wait to get back on the road. You can't wait to show these songs yeah, to yeah. people. Yeah. So I just love I love it all. I just love the work. You know, just doing the work. That's that's the most fun part. 